Hello and welcome back to Power BI Advanced Full Course. In this section onwards, we will be learning about DAX, that is nothing, nothing but data analysis expression. Particularly in this module, we will be learning about basic DAX, intermediate, advanced DAX, and time intelligence. In this Power BI, the DAX is used for cardinality filter flow data modeling that is exactly same thing what we have seen in the power query here in power bi it is just the interface is different but the concept or how the dax engine works behind it it's all are same now in order to more understand about dax we need to understand how the star scheme or what the what is the star schema and how it relates star schema is nothing but it consists of two types of table mainly one is data table or called as fact table another one is lookup table or called as dimension table or in short dim table here in lookup table is nothing but the dimension also known as dimension or dim table that is a product dim product uh, dim is uh, defined the dimension that is also known as lookup table so here is the example of some of the examples of dimension tables that is dim product dim date dim reseller dim employee dim sales territory and another type of data table is uh, another type of table is data table that is nothing but also known as fact table here in this section the fact reseller sales that is also known as data table so data tables always is repeating the records basically sales records are one of the example and this is always be multiple it should it could be repeated uh, plenty of times but in dimension it does not repeat it contains only one single records and it also contains a primary key here in this section you are able to see one key kind of shape is there that is nothing but primary key but in fact table it could happen the product table into the key the primary key should present or also the foreign key uh, could present but the difference between dim table and fact table is the number of records could be repeating so it could contain the plenty of records so uh, the fact table or data table will contain the many side that i'll explain more deeply in the subsequent lesson and the dimension table it contains the one one uh, part that we already seen in our data modeling this is the example of the data model or the star schema one of the stars, stars schema and the example of data table and lookup table so, so the data table or fact table uh, may have duplicate records where you can see that um, the product table is there and in lookup table uh, the dimension table uh, it should not have the duplicate records so this the example a it is the example of sales table and in the b1 it is the example of product table uh, this is the foreign key uh, and foreign key is that it could repeat and this is as you can see it is repeating and it, it has repeated in the sales table that multiple uh, product ID it has been repeated that's the reason it is known as foreign key and here is another foreign key you could see that 
this is the date sales date also has been repeated and in the b example you can see that example of primary keys and this key cannot be repeated as a result it is known as primary key this is a product key and it has uniquely defined and this one single product key which is also known as primary key it corresponding to the uniquely named that is for first product name and it has the unique key which is also known as primary key it defines uniquely a one product name so that's the reason it is known as primary key the relationship or the cardinality there are mainly four types of cardinality or relationship is there between two tables mainly creates either one of the relationship that could be one to one that could be one to many that could be many to one or that could be many to many once we drag and drop we already seen during our data modeling in power query once we drag product key to this sales table automatically creates a relationship so this one denotes this is the one side or nothing but the dimension table and this star one is nothing but the many side or which is known as this sales table as fact table and this is the filter flow or the cardinality where it shows if the relationship is from one to many side this relationship filter flows from one to many side as we have seen this could be adjusted by clicking right clicking on this arrow if we do a right click it will give the option to either by default it is single side it is one to many but if we right click on it it gives another option that is both that we will be seeing more de more deeply in the subsequent lesson already we have seen this in power query and we will be seeing more this is another user interface where what already we have seen during the joins in our power query and this is the this is where we can use the edit the relationship this is where the we can use the first or left table this is the right table and we can give the common uh, primary keys to give how this both table could be joined together that is based based upon this product id which is a common and we can use the single or both and this is the cardinality which we, i'll be explaining more about cardinality section in power bi and as you can see here are four types of relationships are there um, if we right click on this arrow one there is a two types of uh, option one we can delete this relationship and if we click on this properties this relationship window will be opening and where we can choose the two common columns based upon the foreign key and we can choose the cardinality and the relation filter relations this is the data modeling we'll be creating there are basic operations are there the the mathematical functions these are the logical functions these are the comparison functions and these are some of the basic dax function that we'll be looking into this section this all all of this function we sometimes combine with calculate or sometimes we use uh, single handedly to create um, plenty of business queries so in the subsequent lecture we will be seeing at one like this kind these things now let me quickly jump into the power bi and uh, do some hands on using the measure and calculate and also we will be seeing how we can use calculated columns so this is one of the example as i earlier stated that 
uh, we generally will be using calculate and we'll be using calculate along with the sum of the DAX functions to evaluate the business queries. So first is measure and we'll be combining this measure along with the calculate and some of the operations from DAX and then we'll be explaining the calculator column as well. So let me quickly open the Power, Power BI and import some of the data and we'll be calculating this measure. So I'll bring customer table. For time being, I am not doing any transformation. I am just quickly loading the few of the data tables. so in this power bi there are three types of views are there one is report view next is data view and the third one is model view remember this icon is very much resembles to the uh, data modeling what we chose for uh, during the data modeling creating the relationship and it is the exactly same thing over here but it's just the interface is little bit different so if i click on this model view uh, the exactly same thing we can see and in this case power bi automatically detects detected the relationship so they are also in um, data modeling it was used to detect auto detect but we did not choose that we did manually so in this phase also we can do the same thing we can check which two has been connected so in this case these two have been connected customer id and customer id so this is looks fine and the same thing also we can check product id product id so it has chosen or it has auto detected perfectly we can edit uh, between these two or any of these two um, data tables so let's do the sum of the calculation so let's make our hand dirty with some of these DAX functions so this is the model view this is the data view and in the right hand side we can see all the data all the three data that we have imported one is customer data products and sales if we click on this arrow it will expand if we click on this it will expand product if we click on these cells it will also expand so in order to see the data like what are the data what type of values are there we can click on this data view so once we so by default it is chosen customer so this all information is from customer table if we click on the product it will give all the information from the product table likely if i click on sales it will give all the information from the sales table this is the report view where we can create the tax function measures and we can drag and drop over here and it will create the visually impacting charts so let me create so let me open the powerpoint and this is let us create this one so here it's will be creating a measure that is based upon the sales quantity and the price 
without tax so for that i'll click on this new measure so once i do the click on new measure uh, let it let we can keep any name but for time being i am keeping exactly same that we have seen in powerpoint so i'll press shift enter key to come into the second line over here and i'll write calculate and if i type few of the letters cal it will automatically detect the relevant formulas so calculate calculate is one of the dax function that it calculates based upon the expression expression is nothing but it could be table or it could be a single column and that we combine with the filter so let me choose this part by clicking or by pressing the tab key and as you can see it is the expression expression is nothing but it could take any one of this column or it could take any table either it could take product table or sales table and that will combine with the filter so let me do the first expression and basically what i want to do i want to calculate the product type let me okay so let me show this product one i want to calculate a product type and that product type the total i want to calculate the total that total will come by doing the calculation of from the sales table and that sales table will calculate this price each without tax along with the quantity order this one let me expand this one a bit so that we can we could see so this multiplied with quantity order so let me go back to the measure here is a triangle sign you can see because i did not complete complete that so there's a reason it, it has the warning sign so calculate i want to do the summix summix is the what where we can do the multiplication between two things like i want to multiply here quantity with the price so it's asking for the table so this for some x i want to do on sales table that is on price each without tax and another one is with quantity so this is from sales table so i'll write first sales i have to give the table name first that is the sales and i'll hit the tab key i'll put comma I'll come to the next line and here is asking for the expression and the expression is already I have told it I want to do quantity and this quantity ordered from the sales table multiplied with price and that is nothing but price each without tax. So this function starts from over here and it closes over here. Okay. I'll hit the enter key. And this is a measure just now what I have calculated. So I'll bring this over here. Simply we can drag and drop. Or you can click on it. and this i want to compare along with the product type here you can see the product type apparel food 
and electronics are there. Electronics are there. So let me give the data label over here for each of these product type. For that, I'll click on these format visuals and I'll turn on the data label. Let me increase the size. Okay, so these are the product types and these has given that uh, comparison between comparison between product type along with the total sum so sum of total of apparel and the total of food and this is the total of uh, electronics so this is the same thing what we have calculated over here in using this calculate and combine comb uh, we have calculated the measure which is combined with calculate along with the sum x now we will be also seeing about calculated columns so let me explain what is calculated column so already we have seen the conditional formatting over there in power query but how to do in dax so for that let me go back to our data view and this is the customer one so we don't want customer one we want in product table whichever product price is below 500 we want to give a tag over here that as economic whichever price whichever product price is above 500 that should be tagged as expensive like here and if I explain over here the same function it has written over here using the tax so how to do that one I'll create the same function in the tax for that I'll click on a click on this new column and a column will be appearing over here and in the formula box the column name is there so you can give the same name over here that is expensive slash economic and that is using calculated column I'll be using the if function from DAX and the logical test is if this price each this price each is less than 500 then it should treat as economic if not the result will be in result if false it should be expensive so if it is below 500 it is economic if not it is expensive and i'll hit enter and as you can see that this is below 500 this two is below 500 so it is economic this is above 600 so it has created the expensive tag so that's how we can create we can use the calculate 
and calculated function in DAX. And in the subsequent lecture, in the next section, we will be learning about through more into the deep, more deeply into the DAX using the uh, one of the business model. Let me give you the glimpse of it. So it is nothing but a uh, business model. Uh, the company name is Roy Enterprise and it is a B2B business model and it has a business overall the world. So it has mainly three locations that is in India, US and UK. And this business sells three types of main products like electronic gadgets, apparel or garments and foods. And the goal will be as a owner of my business, I wanted to grow my business. For that, I want to compare my previous year sales with the current year. Also would like to analyze more into business on various parameters. So all this performance calculation and trends we are going to perform through the DAX. And lastly, I'll create a performance matrix dashboard in Power BI. So we'll be looking some of the assumptions where the prices are same across the globe. Taxes are same across the countries and all the date formats are in MMDDYYYY. So that is very exciting, very new and uh, I'm going to give the example and I'm going to relate these business queries using the advanced tax. So that's all for now. If you like this video, please give a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Till then, take care. Bye-bye. And I'll come up with another new exciting video. Thank you.